Hi, right, good afternoon. What day is it? I had a lot of problem. I had a lot of trouble with that yesterday. I'm trying to figure out what day it is. But it's Wednesday. You know what? Let me make sure. Oh, this tablet is being plugged in. Don't explain. Man, people always unplugging my stuff. What the heck? Everybody's desperate to use those front case USB ports. Come on, little tablet. Wake up. There we go. I haven't plugged in the tablet in here in a while. But now we're back in business. I'm gonna kill some more music while we're at it. Oh, you know what? Yeah. We're gonna go back to some of the music we had going yesterday because it was so good. The frickin' the frickin' mother soundtrack. <gasps> it was so good. And uh Zelda 2 soundtrack was really great too. Switch over to those in a minute. Oh, 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 I wonder if this channel. I'm looking at I'm trying to search up some musics. We have the chance. I'd love to get one from this channel. It's pretty good. Wow, the Secret of Mana soundtrack is three hours long? What? No. One hour long. That sounds more, more like it. Crazy. We can dip into that later. I haven't heard these things in a long time. I don't even know what I'll be getting myself into. That's exciting. We'll check it out. Sonic 2? Did we do... Did we do Sonic 2 the other week? Juhachi? I really like, I really like this channel. Uh, and their playlists. If you if you can do me a favor and look to see if this channel has Sonic 2 on there and send me a link. We did Sonic 3. All right, yeah. Um, send me a YouTube link and I'll I'll put it in the queue. You got it. Happy to oblige. Um, uh, I just need to get so I, I I grabbed lunch and I'm a little bit unprepared, so I just have to get my files together because uh, it was actually like a car accident down the street and I had to get dropped off like two blocks away and kind of run up and, um, you know, stuff, stuff happens, but we're, uh, we shouldn't be too far out from getting started. We can still talk, we can still talk all the while. It looks pretty crazy, okay. Let's check this out, what do you have for me? Gimme. Beautiful. <laughs> this YouTube channel. Incredible, Mr. Nipples. <laughs> He's incredible. <laughs> I'm amazed. I love YouTube. It's such a it's such a hole. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. I can't, I can't function. Survivor Sig, no, you came, you came the right time. You're not too late for incredible Mr. Nipples. Nipples, the you kidding? <laughs> oh man, he probably has beautiful hands. <laughs> what am I even looking for? I have that PSD already open. Jesus. Incredible Mr. Nipples. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You don't. I'm. I'm like. I'm thinking about it too much. I'm thinking about it too much now. Like you know, <laughs> trying to trying to rationalize it. Wait a minute. What is uh? Wait. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Survivor sick. Don't mind me. Secretly Apothic TV. It's okay. How's it going, dude? 
We are... No, we're not going to be looking at... We're not looking at 4chan, don't worry. It's a safe place. Uh, I'm trying to just get this Blender file open. Yeah, here he is. There's my guy. And I had some Photoshop brushes in the textures folder. Perfect. Yeah, work in progress. Lay it on me. Oh, yeah, dude. Are you still working on that orc or are you working on different um, pixel stuff? I'm excited. I promise, Photoshop, these files will not harm our computer. Uh, okay, cool. Real quick, I just got to get these brushes set up. Don't be cooking with gas. Awesome, dude. I'm excited. Uh, okay, so brushes. Brushes, brushes. Let's add... Load brushes, yes, load. These guys are on the desktop. Secretbrushes.abr. What do we got? What's in store for us? Or how many? Well, you know what? I did look to see which ones of these were ours. Probably this. Shape dynamics, though, right? Oh, it's. Pen pressure's not working again? Son of a bitch. This is lousy. Okay, we might not be doing texture stuff if we don't have pen pressure today, because as much as I'm happy just uh, fighting with. fighting with uh, sketches without pen pressure, I'm not really happy fighting with textures without pen pressure. But that's okay, we'll just do more 3D modeling. What the heck? Freaking. Wacom sucks sometimes. Oh well. Okay, so that settles that. Yeah. Alright, great. Well, 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 at least we have. At least we have Blender. Let's switch over to this thing. Make sure Stream Avatars is happy. Yeah, we're doing great. Okay, cool. Alright, it's time to begin. Boo! Texture work. <laughs> Change the title of the stream. No texture stuff today because the tablet isn't set up correctly. Boo hoo hoo. I don't want, I want to see what Gothic's got. Oh yeah, the skeleton. Nice. Look at this guy. Campfire sounds good too. Okay, where do we leave off? So we've got. So we've got. We've got this guy we started working on. We have some body. So I didn't get a chance to. I didn't get a chance to put together a tweet or anything to. to blast out for the stream. But if you guys wouldn't mind, um, you could click on that handy link and it will, I think it'll automatically format a little Twitter thing. Just you know, share, share it with your friends if you, use the, if you use the Twitter. If you don't, I don't mind. I won't be hurt, I promise. Where's this guy? This guy. No. This guy. This guy. This is who we're trying to get. Get flashed out. Get put together. Man, I'm so annoyed with brushes. Pressure sensitivity in my foot. I said I fixed it the other week. Mmm. Mmm. Oh well. I'm actually gonna pull this out so I can look at it on my second screen. 
I think we have everything we need for our... Our... What am I trying to say? Our second screen. We've got our chat up. We've got our OBS overlay. I like looking at that. Back to Blender. All right, well, I guess I don't need to have the tablet plugged in. Oops, just throw the tablet stylus around like a maniac. can't believe it. I was so caught up because I was trying to, uh, so there's um, a Facebook group that I found that is sort of, it's a, you know, just pe different people on Twitch saying, you know, hey, check out my channel. Hey, I need advice on this, you know, and I thought, oh, it might be good to start doing some, trying to do some like cross promo stuff for just let more different groups know about the work that we're doing. And I was all ready to say, hey guys, Red Machine is about to go live in a little bit, and it's pretty cool, you should check it out. And, um, Link wouldn't post with the thumbnail, it was like posting with like the empty TV icon. Empty TV, not MTV. With the, like the no avatar defined icon, and I thought, that's not cool, it's not gonna look good. And, um, and I was, looking around and I tested tested the imaginary monsters one and that one grabbed the avatar and I don't know why it didn't grab the red machine one but it's like ah and I think I just sat there staring at it for five minutes wondering why and then it was almost time to go live and I said shit this is time to go time to go <laughs> so I got foiled I tried I tried doing the right thing I'm honest we really did try we'll get there though Perhaps someday. What do we want to do for this guy? He needs an arm. I'm not sure if I want to extrude his arm out. I think he's going to have a disconnected arm like most things. Seems like a con consistent way to do it. He's a good little... Rhinoceros, clown, baby kaiju. Something. Something, that's for sure. Well, dude, I'm excited. Uh, it looks like you're making nice project progress on your game. The art does look fun. Ugh. Everybody's having a good Thursday. Wednesday, it's Wednesday! Shit. I'm so stuck on the old schedule. I promise it's not Thursday. Trust me, it's Wednesday. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna do this. I wanna do some stuff to make these ears. I want this little kind of. Oh, it's one, two, three, four. Four points, that might be easier, actually. Oh, hack and slash gameplay where you play the skeleton. That sounds fun. I like it. Hack and slash. Such a satisfying sounding genre. faces and things. Actually, let's take this whole, whole shebang. Ooh. Something is getting stretched and funky. Wait a second, this doesn't need to this doesn't need to be a triangle. Oh, 
It's all so clear to me now. song cool man it's been a long time since I played any original Sonic games but actually maybe we'll keep the triangle there because it might just help our topology work a little bit better if we define the edge yeah 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 let's do it okay this whole thing is bothering me see clearly what I'm doing. I like the top profile of this head. It's cool. What is the, the problematic shape? This thing. Jerk. Wednesday, though. Wednesday. Pretty cool for a Wednesday. Pretty cool for a Wednesday. Not bad for a Wednesday. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to think of what else is going on. Oh, I didn't get a chance to listen to the song! I have it in a tab on Chrome at home. What was I what was I doing after streaming? After after I ended up streaming, I think I went I brain farted, dude, and I went straight into looking at some like, game maker tutorial videos on YouTube and stuff, and I just I wasn't I wasn't in like a music brain. My bad, I'm sorry. I forgot to do it! I know. What a big, fat jerk. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you a formal letter of apology. Maybe we can, maybe we can work this out. I know! <laughs> Please be gentle. Be kind. What are we doing over here? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh... Well, everything everything's all everything's all funky because uh, well, here's the thing. I'm gonna get some. So for the rest of the week, after I'm done streaming, I'm gonna get some texture work done, and then on Mon Tuesday when we stream again, I'll be able to. I'll try to get the tablet working before then, and I'll say, look at what we did since we last were here, and all the cool things we can do, and blah blah blah. And so. We're not getting stopped, we're just getting delayed. So my bad. My bad, secret apothic. Huh. I'm such a forgetty boy these days. Do we want these to be sharp or rounded on the tips? Maybe a little bit more rounded. So we're not super triangular. He's looking pretty though. Ooh, I'm really excited. He's kind of like a dinosaur man. Beautiful friend. Ah, oh, good. Dude, that's a good idea. Getting your... Honestly, I was really intimidated when I sat down to do the, uh, the Bixis title art. And I still might adjust it. But I was kind of in this mindset of, I don't know if this is final, I don't know if blah blah blah. But... Honestly, having that and having that as sort of like a focal piece that you can share and send around is really useful. And even if I'm doing kind of, what was I gonna say? Even if I'm doing kind of, uh, you know, just like an anything post on social media, just putting up whatever, um, and I post the title, like the title screen treatment, it gets, it gets some of like the best reactions out of anything that I post, which is nice. Uh, it's just cool to know that, you know, 
at least it's something that really gets people's attention and is, seems kind of focal. Probably helps that it's just bright red. We're going to... This song always killed me. It sounds like a it's a big dramatic thing. Da 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 da. Yeah, I understand how that goes, man. You want to make it nice, uh, nice and fancy. That's a good way to do it. Shift it along the edge and then the other edge. Yes, indeed. I like this trick. Desecrated a cloth on the skeleton. Cool. Yeah, he's a fun little bone friend. the shape that we we desire. Let's pull them out just a little bit more. There we go. Oh goodness. Oh desaturated. Well I mean desecrating skeletons is pretty par for the course too. No, it's good. So I'm in the tombs, I'm desecrating your bones, and uh... Hashtag solo game dev life. Perfect. You know, what, what do people do in the tombs? You know, desecrate some bones... As per usual. Nice. Nefarious. Discord open. Just post a couple of Discord reminders. Oh, we're not in the Rock Game Dev Discord also. Ugh. Oh my gosh. What a mess. What a mess. So my channel. Okay. Man, it's funny having multiple accounts that you manage that are all sort of you. <laughs> uh, the Dino Rhino thing is going to be a... Sort of a, not really, I mean, yeah, I guess like an NPC or an animal thing in this game of animals and monsters. Not really a playable character of sorts, but also not really an NPC. He may it may occupy a space containing other bespoke animals and monsters. Perhaps. Dino Rhino's a good, good way to call it. 
I sort of, I was doing some, I was doing these designs and I was kind of going down this sort of kaiju rabbit hole of, you know, wanting to do monsters and dinosaur looking things that also look like people wearing a costume. Oh, Death State, yeah. That's okay. Well, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I appreciate it. You can pick your flavor, though. There's the customary link. Somebody says Death State, and I have to go like, huh? DS? DS? Oh, you mean Death State? I know that game. I know all about it. <laughs> uh, uh. Good old Death State. I think Slamland is gonna beat it to the to the Switch release punch too, which is crazy. I'm not sure when we'll get back to that. Dino Rhino, do we want to put uh, itty bitty eyeballs in here? Hang on, itty bitty eyeballs. Oh, uh oh, we're gonna press. There's my boy. Sketch has teeny tiny little beady eyes. Maybe some stuff doesn't have to have like big eyelid eyes. Just little dots. Yeah, Game Maker, Game Maker Studio 2 for Switch. Yeah. Dude, are you doing your stuff in Game Maker? Is that. Uh, there, there, uh, a bunch of people, a bunch of people are on my Monday stream talking about constructs, so I don't know who's doing what anymore. Um, yeah, awesome. Well, that's great. Yeah, I don't know what the submission process is going to be like. Um, I was talking about it a little bit the other day, but I started working with somebody to give me a hand getting the the porting process together for Hollow and Forever, and that's also going to involve Switch stuff, but I'm not going to be super hands-on with the whole submission aspect and sort of um, count side portion of things, but I'm going to ask a lot of questions and hopefully I'll be able to glean some info, but um, yeah, we'll probably have, some, have, probably have some wisdom to share at some point. But yeah, I am really excited for that. I was um, I was kind of losing hope that it wouldn't happen. Just sort of, I kept hearing rumors like, like oh, it's coming, this winter, it's coming, and then it's already almost spring, and I thought, oh, maybe just, just wasn't meant to be. But turns out it was indeed meant to be, which is cool. All right, I want to borrow the arms from this guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> What a nut. All right, give me your, give me all the important pieces. I don't know, this guy, this guy has conjoined arms. Maybe we could, maybe we could do joined arms on the, on the dino rhino. So many jazzy Sonic songs. Okay. Perfect. Completed. My masterpiece. Oh man. Oh, 50, 50, 50 bits from lunch. Nice. Yeah, dude. Um, Apothic, I understand it's hard to you know, have these long-running projects and you want them to kind of see the light of day, but also, yeah, it's it's definitely tricky getting it all to kind of come together. I like them with these little arms, too. <laughs> there we go. Look at him. Look at him. He's so pretty. <laughs> Failed prototypes. Yeah, I mean, those small games, there's something to be said about small games. I think I think it's really tempting, and I do this too, it's really tempting to make sort of very, you know, large-ish scope 
something that you feel like you would be impressed by kind of kind of indie games and that's good but also you really want to make sure that you're just completing what you set out to do and um, that's good I think it's really easy it's really easy to it's not even not even just like feature creeping yourself into you know, oh, this game just wound up getting a lot bigger than I intended. But really just starting off too large and just instead of keeping some keeping things simple. But it's all it's a practice too. It's a practice. Hacksaw, what's up, dude? <laughs> Look at that little face. Lumpty bumpty, that's cool. Yeah. You really have to kind of start off earnestly intending to make something manageable. I want to give this guy claws, because his hands are big enough and I feel like he could get warrant having some choppy digits. What is our topology like if we were going to try and join this up? Mm, we'd have to do some, some stuff. I bet we could simplify this all, though, reduce it down. Let's do these fingers first, and then we'll think about how we want this all to come together. I'm so happy to be doing 3D stuff. Are we getting into jingles time? I think so. Sonic the Hedgehog, you're beautiful, but I want to listen to some Secret of Mana. time. Oh man. We're gonna get all moody and serious. We'll have to see how much we can take. So I remember Secret of Mana being one of the prettiest games that I've ever played. To the point where I'm, I'm, I'm really not even interested at all in uh, looking at the, the remake version they produced. But if anything, it's just got me really ex I, I, I want to go back and play the original again. <laughs> is, it, is, it too, is it too intense? <laughs> it's such a beautiful game. And splay the fingers out a little bit. Memories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. I mean... Stuff gets remade. It's kind of it's kind of like that with movies and things, too. I mean, nobody can take away the original thing that you enjoyed, and that's the, that's the big point. Um, stuff will get remade. And hopefully it's, you know, enjoyable enough. I've been seeing people actually streaming the, the new one, I think, so, I mean, people are playing it. It can't be a, a total, uh, total dump, total waste. Yeah, I mean, I think part of it is, I, I, I know this isn't everything, but, you know, people talk about the sort of rule of 15 where you know, with copyright as far as how it's cons how it works in the U.S. and maybe around the world too, that you need to kind of keep nurturing an IP, or else uh, copyright can lapse and then you wind up, you know, ownership becomes unclear. But um, I don't know if that's the case with everything, but I think it makes sense for companies like Square Enix to be trying to do something with, you know, this back catalog of, of IP that they own, because, I mean, it's it's all, you know, extremely recognizable, and that is pretty great. But, yeah, 
people are very people are very discerning the kind of fans that were into something that is you know 20 years old and has like a certain quality and also this nostalgic memory impact and they kind of want something you want something out of it that's going to be you know at least evocative or reminiscent of the original and it's not always easy to find it's not always easy to to get out of that oh, I always have a really hard time doing fingers I don't know if I do them best <sighs> let me look around some I'm gonna find some things that are like way too detailed. So like HD models. I don't wanna look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. <laughs> I typed low poly, I got like the exact same results. Sort of. Well, this is fine. Yeah, that one looks like mine. That one looks like crazy craps. I think I just gotta. I think I just gotta start with a better starting shape for the fingers. <laughs> I mean, the top view is good. The top view is minus some joints and things. All the little claps and stuff. These two that are kind of the problem children. Yeah, Exos, I hear you there. It's nice if it. I don't, yeah, there's 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 like some kind of there's got to be some kind of ideal sweet space that you're trying to that you might be trying to accomplish where it introduces new people but also gets people excited about um, maybe the original in some sense. I don't know, because it's also not, I mean, unless you're, yeah, it's such a weird thing. Because a remake isn't even necessarily like a sequel, and you say, oh yeah, I wouldn't read, I wouldn't read this book without reading the previous books or something like that. But. Because also that could be kind of, I wonder if, an, if a remake is easier to market than a sequel, because when you have a sequel, you have kind of the baggage of, if you haven't done X, Y, and Z, you won't be interested, or if you haven't done A, B, and C, you won't be interested in D, or you won't be able to access D as a fan. So there's almost this sort of exclusivity to sequels, or it could just be harder to onboard people to it. I'm not sure. Somewhere there's like a, a smarty pants in college who's done a paper on it. But even then it might not all, it might not all line up. Context to specific instances. Oh, three three thousand years in the future. I don't know if people are still playing three thousand. People are still playing video games three thousand years in the future. That's pretty wild. If there's still people three thousand years in the future, that's pretty wild. If we don't like bomb ourselves off the rock or whatever. I'll be impressed. Yeah, I mean, even storytelling is fun. Storytelling is inherently fun. You know, storytelling wouldn't be enjoyable unless it was fun. 
and uh, but yeah, I definitely agree. What is the what is the vehicle for the fun? Zelda Prime, Zelda Prime Million. I've even thought about it in uh, in terms of in terms of my own stuff. Like if we if we ever did a if we ever did a Death State sequel, is there a way to make it sound not so much like this is Death State Two, and people are gonna be oh you know I didn't play the first one. Do I should I wait? Should I whatever? Or like Halloween Forever? If Halloween Forever Two ever happened, I wouldn't call it Halloween Forever Two, but it would be sort of a like a like a new something in the series, but I wouldn't call it a sequel. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's great if people find what it is and say, this is great, I want to play all the games that exist like this. Or if somebody finds it for the first time, have never heard about anything else, but they're still interested in it and want to buy it, that's great. You know, I want that person to check it out too. So, you know what's better? Christmas Forever, yeah. Thanksgiving indefinitely. <laughs> That's the trap that we wind up in. <laughs> Welcome to the spooky world of Easter on Sunday. This is cheery music. Might be a little too cheery. Yeah, I like it. Secret of Mana is cool. We might switch it. We might still switch it up for something different, though. I like having a good deal of music on hand that I haven't had before. Ooh. Little finger tippy. Here's a song that I remember. And there's a finger. There's a better finger. Better finger. Just like Bart Simpson. Nobody better lay a finger on my better finger because it's my better finger. Lay off. Are we not? We're not orbiting around the camera. Halloween for a limited time. That's true. Halloween does happen for a limited time. <laughs> These are preferences. No, we are rotating around selection. What am I? What am I smoking? What's the deal? I don't know why that seems off. Goodness. Yeah. You gotta beat the game under five minutes to get the best ending. Or some such. Oh, help me. Help me, Forrest. So, there's so many things you could do. There's so many things I want to do. Uh, I, sh I should actually include a knuckle on this before I go. Using it all over the place. Doesn't have to be crazy, just a little. Ooh, not that. Just a little bit of this. Went and tried this new ramen place. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Very, very fast. Very easy. Just kind of one of those combine it all together ramen joints. Like that though. Oh, 
Oh goodness. Yeah, we can change the music. This is, oh man, we're 13 minutes into like an hour and 11 minutes of Secret of Mana music. I love it. I'm going to come back to it, but um, not do that. Let's do, let's do Mother. Oh, you have something. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is it? <laughs> Leisure suit, Larry. I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta skip around. Man, the soundtrack is in an hour or two? Jeepers creepers. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just getting the sample. It's MIDI too. Oh god. <laughs> Buffer slip out game break. <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry games. The worst. If you ever seen pictures of the people that made the Leisure Suit Larry games, you understand why. <laughs> I can't oh I can't do it. I love it though. Oh, it's just not the right time. <laughs> are the worst. <laughs> Danger. Danger. Oh, man. <laughs> I used to play all the Space Quest games. I was, I was just talking to my buddy Matt about how I never really... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, guess, I guess that's not true. I was, we were talking about... Um, talk about adventure games and how I always kind of struggled with them but for some reason the, the space quest games clicked I was able to play the hell out of those <laughs> fat man in a golf cart <laughs> sounds lovely I love it God, the glory days of Sierra. I feel like they could... I mean, they made really cool stuff, but also I feel like they could just make anything back then. Pretty wild. Yeah, I really like the Space Quest games. Roger and Wilco. They're nice and corny enough. Yeah, that's the thing. We used to always, I used to always have the King's Quest games around, and I would just be terrible at them. I was horrible at them. Me too, yeah. I would almost always play those games with the guide, except for the Space Quest games. I could get by without the guide. But we had the guides, and I would just kind of read them after the fact for just, you know, fun. What was another game that I used to try playing? Uh, I remember, yeah, some of the Dynamix uh, adventure games we used to play. What was it? Was it Revenge of the Dragon? I think it was Revenge of the Dragon. That one was cool. And, um... Or no, it's not Rise of... Hang on. Uh, what was it called? No, it wasn't that. Dynamics Games. Willy Beamish was another one. Willy Beamish was cool. You're like this terrible teenager. You're trying to trying to solve crime or something, but also enter your frog into a frog jumping context contest. Rise of the Dragon. 
Rise of the Dragon. Rise of the Dragon was awesome. It was this crazy cyberpunky thing, and you're this, you know, detective. Rise of the Dragon was awesome. Oh, they had a CD, the Sega CD version of it. That's great. I remember this. <laughs> I remember playing this game when I was younger, and you could um, shoot. I was probably like 12 or something. Maybe 17. Whoops. And um, you could. You're this detective, you know, this kind of Blade Runner-y kind of guy, and you had you had a girlfriend or something that worked in some public records office, and you could. It was it was it was it was really interesting. You could go to a bar and hit on this other girl and take her out for a date, and then your girlfriend would spot you and get you know pissed off at you and have this big fight in the street. But then you could get flowers and chocolates and stuff and apologize to your girlfriend who works in the city public records office and make up with her. And then they had this like not obligatory scene, but just like a scene of you know nighttime. And like you and her chilling in bed. It was like a single frame thing. And I remember my dad walking by. He was like, whoops, what did I give my son? And I was like, well, I'm just, I apologize, I got her flowers. <laughs> whoops, responsible parenting. It's okay. Classics, classics, classic modern, classic movements in modern gaming. I got her flowers, what? We're on the mend. What? What? Oh, I wanna see, oh, his hand, the hands are so big on this. On this guy, I can make those bigger then. Ba 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 ba! Big hands. I'm trying to get my windows all stacked up right. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, cool. So I want to have a little bit of elbow, elbow spikes going. We want to do that. You know, what, I've been having. I feel like I'm having good luck, sort of taking. Um, Shapes like this, whoops. Yay, shapes like this. And doing this extrusion thing that I've been doing. Just to kind of sketch in what I want a shape to do, and then it gives me like a scaffolding to get some get some real faces going. Beautiful music. I can't stand it. I say it every time. I just get so worked up about it. So worked up about it. Okay, so what do we want to do? That triangle, this triangle, that triangle. Quite nice, I think. And then we'll delete the quads underneath it and connect it all happy like. And we'll be off to the races. Got need to flip on our normal so you can see everything's kind of pointing the wrong way. There we go. Very nice. I 
yeah. Oh man, Apothic. I think about you know what it must have been like working in those early days of you know publishing and self-publishing when you know you really had to do like everybody had to do shareware and then you had all these physical copies you had to fulfill and just how different that must have been. I wonder how difficult or easy it was to get into. Where now, you know, we have the easiest distribution in the world, but just visibility is hard because there's so much. But also, you know, it's not bad that there's a lot. It's just kind of just very different. I remember reading Masters of Doom and wondering a lot about what it was like to be in sort of those old Apogee shareware days compared to, uh, you know, contemporary indie stuff. We have these little, on our sketch, we have these little scales, these scoots, on the, sort of like the by, the shoulder outside of the arm. I guess that could be a surface detail, or maybe, maybe that should be actually modeled? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we want to do there. I have to see. I really want to do this guy with this. Face and face and face and claw hands. He's so pretty. Um, okay, so we have. You know, let's try doing the modeling the scales. Might look nice. Nice. Oh, dude, did you ever did you ever post a do you have a GIF of your uh, bonfire? I want to see it because I really like I really I'm a, I'm a big sucker for effects animation. Uh, they're just they're just so pretty to look at. Let's see. I want to see if you have a little fire, a little fire, fire. I gotta animate a lot more. Flames and explosions and craziness. Uh, yeah, no rush. Don't let me disrupt. Entertain me! This is the opposite of how Twitch goes. I log on and stream while you entertain me. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Show me something special. Show me something nice. This will be fun. This will be a fun shape. There we go. Alright. Sort of stitch it all down. Yeah, I'm excited though. I'm excited to... I'm excited to be doing this stuff here. Sharing this kind of work with y'all. I'm excited to be finding new places to be able to potentially share the kind of work that we're doing and see how that goes. It's exciting. Oh, good, 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 yeah. No, you're doing a good job. Because the nice thing about, the nice thing about this fire effect that it has is it does the sort of thing that I like where it kind of like there's like 
there's like masses, like a few, there's like one mass, then another mass, then another mass. It has this kind of juggling look to it, and it's like cyclical. Um, a lot of the times when I see effects animation, the people are struggling a little bit, they make it look too constant. They make it look too like, kind of just like, it's like on, 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 on. Where this has like a good, you know, there's like a waviness to it, which is really good. Nice, I like it. The 10 frames too, that's pretty economical. I say pretty good, pretty good. Very nice, I say. How's this gonna work? We just have more pyramids. It's kinda nice. Damn, this is such a cheery tune. Cool, yeah, dude, I'll look at I'll look at whatever you want to show. This is fun for me. I like it. All our normals are goofy. In Apothic, don't sweat it. I couldn't 3D until I started doing it a bunch. It's its own thing. Still gotta ditch the, the underlying quads. These. These quads. There we go. Um, so getting. Oh, actually, no, this will be easy. What was I concerned? I was thinking, this is gonna be really hard to get these uh, vertices to go where I wanna go, but then I realized I could just view it from a different angle. So it won't be hard after all. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Spiky friend. My spiky pal. Except now I'm wondering if we... These are probably fine being this kind of pyramid-like, geometric. It's kind of nice having sort of like a contrast where you have kind of smooth shapes and then eventually every now and then you have these kind of sharp shapes, which are exciting. Gives you some pointiness, points of interest. Thanks, Cougar. Yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Uh, Twitch.tv Imaginary Monsters in the morning and at night. Thursday is the big day where I do the, the morning and the nighttime stream. I'm going to try to get some more work done tonight before I jump back in tomorrow. Because I want to I wanna work on content during streams just because it's a little bit... It's, easy, it's just more... just easier to get excited about and then get my sort of features done nights and weekends, if that makes sense. Do that as much as we can. Eventually we'll have to, like, it'll be unavoidable. We'll have to just do some of it whenever, just whatever's needed. But right now we have so much we could do. We could do anything. Ouch. The world is our yoyster. Hey Cougar, are you ready for GDC? I know a bunch of you guys are going. That's very exciting. Estamos listos?
Is it true? Is it true? Ah, oh, Skeleton Idol. I want to see it. Hang on a second. You kind of, this, I like this shoulder. It looks like a meat tenderizer. Very pretty, like a pine cone. Ooh, yes. Let's take a look at that skeleton. We finished our dinner, now we get dessert. Yay! I'm excited about this guy. He's neat. And his little kind of cowl sort of makes up for his arms not being connected. I bet this song is a little bit aggravating. Squeakies. Alright, skeleton idol. Nice. Look at this. Skeleton. His sword is a little bit bendy. And I'm not sure if it, like, when it moves and kind of changes shapes, it sort of looks a little bit... Like it's made out of something flexible. But it's cool, though. I think that would be the only thing that I look at. It's just, um... Trying to keep those like rigid surfaces, like the shield and the and the sword, a little more controlled. <laughs> it's it's got hinges. Very old sword. Perfectly good. Perfectly good. Old sword. Oh, he's got monkey arms. Look at him. These are big arms. <laughs> Rubber sword. It's good. Ready to fly off into space. My people need me. I'm doing the timelines, the keyframes. Yeah, up to you. Honestly, it's up to you, really. Feel free to keep it as is. Oh my gosh, I kind of want... <sighs> I kind of want some more coffee, that's what I want. That's an easy question. What do I want? I can tell you. What do you really need to ask? Just a little bit of... Caffeine. So weird. Let's fix. You know, what what scene this happens in this music? The sound. The sound. The song. Feels a lot like some kind of gentle resolution. Do you want Luchador? I want a, I want a cup of coffee. That's what I want. How can you help me? 
<laughs> it's so good because the, with the night mode chat, your name just blends in. I saw this like disembodied question. What do you want? A ghost! G -g 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 -g. <laughs> What's up, dude? G -g 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 -g. G -g 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 Coffee. J -j 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 Joe. Maybe I drink too much coffee. I don't know. I don't think so. I always hear stories about people that drink pots of coffee a day. Pots. Or like knowing people that are knowing people or new people that are older and they're like, oh yeah, I drink two pots of coffee a day. And I'm like, I want to throw up right now because I drink three and I'm like flying. I don't know how people do that. I'm just like so desensitized and tough. Your stomach is like a your stomach is like a dry onion on the inside. How do people do it? Two pots of coffee a day? How do you do it? Is your stomach like a tanned leather? Oh my gosh. Nice, that's cool. And see, I do like the bend. I do like the bend in the sword. Nicks and pits and things. That's cool. Yeah. I feel like Save the, save like the, like the smears and like rubberiness of rigid surfaces for if and when it's like moving really fast. Like if you're gonna do like a slash and you want the smear and a bend or something like that. Yeah, that's cool, dude. Well, coffee is good. I think coffee is, coffee is good. Oh, the, sh the darkness again. Ah, stretch time! Like a cat or a sloth or something. Pull your shoulders. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm... Well, I'm probably... I might be at my computer later, later. What's happening? What's going on? I could probably, I could probably be free-ish. Really like after eight? I don't know. Um, oh, sh I'm not sure if I can. I'm not sure if I can do an interview tonight. Tonight. Yeah. Can we? I'm trying to think what's happening this week because I've got I've got family in town so I'd be able to like I was gonna do a little work for a little bit but it would be hard for me to like just say oh glad you guys are here I'm gonna go in the basement and talk to other people on the internet <laughs> for probably two hours <laughs> um, I'm trying to think Saturday there's something going on too maybe Sunday night or we could just like pick a night next week also Let's figure it out. But soon, soon, let's, let's figure it out soon. Get back behind the hot mic. Yeah, how are you getting settled in too? How long have you been back? I know we, I know we like been talking intermittently, but how long have you been back in the States? Magnets, how do they work? month. Yes, you're still fresh. Still rather fresh. That's all right. Well, I mean, well, good on you for getting the ball rolling again. This stuff. I'm sorry, dude. Well, I mean, anything we can do to help. If, uh, yeah, let's do, let's do the interview soon. Reestablish some old good habits. Create normalcy once again. Look at his cute little pits. I think his pencil arms stick out too far from his body. <laughs> yep, I hear ya. Loud and clear. All right, it's less a less pitiful pit. Coffee comics. Oh, 
Oh, hang on a second, hang on a second. I've got something, I've got some coffee stuff for you. Hang on a second. Hold the phone. You want some coffee? You want some coffee? I'll give you some coffee. How about the strongest coffee they had? Exodia. <laughs> I love this account. Hang on a second. Here's another one. So good. Yugi's grandpa got trapped in this coffee. <laughs> You should peruse this. You're gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Who would have known? Who would have known the Yu-Gi-Oh memes are the best? Who would have known? I knew. I knew from the start. Normalcy? Normality? No. Oh. That's okay. Well, I don't need to respect Ronald Reagan, so I'll say normality. Actor for a president? What? Ha ha ha. Ha ha Alright, this guy look he's looking pretty spiff. Oh, I wanna give him a hug on all those pointy points. Normality sounds like babality, this is true. Um, what else are we gonna do today? Since we can't work on textures because freaking tablet pressure sensitivity is borked and that is annoying. Freaking whack, huh? It's probably one of those dumb things where because it was unplugged for so long it left uh, life state. Yeah. Work on death county. I've got some more 3D stuff we can do. Who's in this PSD? Janitor, that's good. Big Gug, that's good too. A tiny Mushroom, that's also good. These dummies, that stuff is too weird over there. I'm not gonna touch that yet. Too weird. Hmm, let's zoom out so we can see everything. I like this, this is so weird. Gaping T-Rex. Three heads T-Rex, three heads White Dragon. Dinosaurs, I know. Get him dinos. You do a little dinosaur. We're probably not gonna put a dinosaur in yet. Moles, the mole came out so pretty. Look at the mole, he's beautiful. The star-nosed mole is less beautiful, but this mole is, ah, where'd he go? Come back, my mole. Ah, I thought we were rotating around a selection. Come on, Blender. Look at him, he's a little boy. He's like a football, you could throw him. I want to try and mess around. I don't want to work on the star nose, mole's nose, because that's kind of boring. That's not exciting stuff. It just, need, it just needs to be like redone. Dumb nose. No, we're gonna. I'm gonna go to the doctor. I'm gonna have more moles added. I'm gonna need a heaping tablespoon of mole asses. It's butts. <laughs> Except no, it's melted sugar. <laughs> yes, isn't it good? Isn't it good? It is. It is one of the best twitters. <laughs> Twitter.com slash fuck Yugi. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other one? It was like Joey Wheeler is a third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck. Change my mind. And it was like the guy sitting at the table. <laughs> Joey Wheeler, third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck. Change my mind. <laughs> I love it. He's doing a public service. Whoever that is. Whoever that person is. 
Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Can't stand it. Oh man, well, I did some stuff earlier today. I was doing some. I was doing some tweaks on the tortoise, expecting to start texturing it today. All right, Luchador, take it easy, dude. We'll talk this week, man. We've got some stuff sorted. You just got coffee from the closet. Take it easy, Luchador. You got coffee for you. What it did do on this tortoise is I... Oh no, wait a second. I must, oh, I must not have saved the work that I did. Wait a second. Wait a second. I gotta take a tiny break and look at a file real quick. Break Shimas! I have to look at something. Sorry, guys. Juhachi's gonna yell at me. Hmm. Did I open the wrong file? I might have opened the wrong file. Did I not save the progress that I did on that cool tortoise? Mr. Tortoise. Some coffee. Um, don't mind me, I just got very confused because I did some work on the tortoise earlier today and it's not in this file. Who else? Hey, quick, quick poll. Who else out there has coffee that isn't in my hand right now? Let me know. Let me know. Tell me. You gotta help me out. Congratulations. Um. Older. I'm doing everything wrong today. Ah, my gosh. 314 to 209 p.m. That is this. I'm working on the local file. That's got to be it. So, save as Secret Animal 07. Yep, that's it. That's the trick. We figured it out, folks. So what is this what is this called? Animal tortoise. Excuse me. I got Pepsi. Carefully you don't get Pepsis. If you drink too much Pepsi, you can get Pepsis. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna take the file from our server. I wish everything was in a better place. Okay. Wait, no! No! Am I in the local version or not? Never mind. I think I just lost the work. Maybe I, I lose it. Did I just forget to save it? I can't tell anymore. Anyway, um, let's just do it again. <laughs> Who cares? Just gonna do it again. Hi, guys. I missed you. I missed you while we were gone. Chance it. All right. So I was about to say, look at what I did. It was smart what I did, but instead I get to show it because it's gone. So for a while, the tortoise has bothered me because it's got, it's like the topology is weird on the show on the shell. It's uh, like too dense along one axis. So I wanted to fix it and take like some, some subdivisions out. And we did it. A few easy steps. All some edges. Oh my god, they have this music too in here. What Paula goes missing? Oh my god. Ah, Earthbound Mother. Oh my god. 
this game. Shoulder? What did I do wrong? So I'm adding a couple triangles. There we go. So that, then we have less stuff going on up there. I'm not gonna cry, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cope with it, I guess. Ugh. Man, when Ninsage was around yesterday and he was, we were talking about we we're talking about whoops, we we're talking about Earthbound and how just weird and important the story is. You know, it's you know, it's I, I totally get it when people are like, Earthbound, it's too silly. It's such a silly story. It's so, like, so jokey. And yeah, you know, it kind of is. But, you know, also deals with themes of, you know, child abduction, cult activity, um, body horror. There's a lot of stuff in there, and people don't, people don't realize it because they see a game and they think, wow, funny jokes silly characters and stuff and it's like dude <laughs> there's something there's something in this i just get excited like telling people about that and they say oh i guess you're right but that's cool it's not like the world needs more earthbound fans there's probably too many too many, it's not like the world needs another person to say, they never localized Mother 3 and cry into the pillow at night. Shit, I keep pressing extrude. Damn it, what? Where am I? Help. Giant shoulder pads that look like entire towns. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think um, Undertale was a good. Undertale was definitely a good thing. It definitely kind of came at the right time for it. I've, I've read different things online of people trying to sort of. Um, dissect or figure out how they could sort of replicate that success with, that um, he had with the game. And it's such a hard thing to do. I don't know. Some people were like going back and trying to track, you know, when, when it blew up or when like this or that got really popular or this or that thing. But it's a hard, it's a hard kind of moment to create if you're out there intending to create that sort of thing. Right, so we simplified the topology on the shell a little bit by kind of trimming down our faces, which is nice. Yeah, but dude, there's been there's been a ton of earthbound likes in a long time. You know, they're all kind of different. But, I mean, what is it? Citizens of, Citizens of the Earth didn't really blow up in the same way? I mean, I don't really... There's, uh... I mean, there are a bunch of Earthbound likes in development, too. But maybe his just came out at the right time. I know people were telling me, check out Citizens of the Earth, but it just didn't, didn't appeal to me. It's that, it's that same kind of thing where it's, you know, and I hate to say this, but it's visually deviating too much from the formula that I look at it and just kind of say, eh, no, no, no thanks. Kind of yuck. But it definitely put some, some love and effort into it. Yeah, and you know the Fallout 3 stuff, it's too bad, but also I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know be sad for someone that was making, you know, fan art 
and then they got you know told you can't make this anymore yeah or even no or just or just Bethesda's defending their IP and then they're like no this is too much too close to the actual like original uh, copyrighted content that we had and you know they they're in the legal right it's correct to do that so Yeah, I'm, I understand, I understand wanting to do that stuff, but also, you know, I bet if you're doing, like, modding tools, you're not so far off from using tools like Game Maker or Construct and just making something of your own, but it's more difficult in ways because you can't say, this is a Fallout game, and everybody that's Googling Fallout will say, yes, um... You know, you kind of have to stand on your own legs there. Yeah, and even then still, if it's, if they're, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, it, it kind of, it kind of boggles my mind that you can make, that someone could sell a mod and have it be uh, something that, You know, the original company isn't saying, mine, you know. And I, and I would understand that too, if they did that. Because it's, it's, I mean, it depends on what the, 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 the usage rights are for mods and stuff. Well, I mean, like, for something, I mean, and this is, this is, <coughs> even not for stuff that people are going to sell, but take, take all these, like, different Pokemon sort of spin-off games or sort of fan games like Pokemon Uranium or whatever. You're not going to sell that, but people might donate money and this and that. Or like, what is Gary's mod? Is it an actual mod or is it an, like a standalone thing? This is just me like skipping entire generations of PC gaming and stuff and just not really paying close attention. I need the education. Turn right on file. But yeah, it's, you know, any anytime someone's gonna spend <laughs> do giant takes and makes me I I understand that, yes. Um but is Gary's Mod an original game, or is it... You know, the name is what I'm hung up on. Is it a mod of Half-Life, or is it... But anyway, that's 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 aside from the point. Um, you know, it's sad when someone commits a ton of time of their life to make, you know, a new Metroid game. But also, if they're not Nintendo or a Nintendo licensee, whether they're selling it or not, like you can't, you can't do that, really. And it keeps happening too. And and you know, it's always, it's always get, it always gets like a headline, like you know, this giant mod or this giant fan game is getting shut down. And you know, it's it's not really news. It shouldn't be surprising. You know, different companies respond in different ways. I think, uh, you know, Sega treated Sonic a little bit generously, which is cool. But also, people can't expect every company to to treat their their content like that. You know, it's it's like if people if people started, you know, I'm not I'm not even important at all. But if people started making piles of Halloween Forever fan games, and um, you know, it's 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 cool, but also it might be difficult too. Or it's sort of like the like I don't know. There's so many different nuances and ways of looking at this thing. You know, me being like a tiny indie game scrub, I might be grateful for the extra visibility and some notoriety that comes out of it. But at the same time, if people are playing this other stuff and not checking out the source material, it's kind of damaging. Where's our playlist? 
almost done with the soundtrack. I'm just gonna skip ahead to a little more lively something. How about that? Let's change things up a little bit. Next game. Look at all these aminals. There's so many. Griffin, do we want to do anything else with the Griffin? I don't think so. What's happening with these animals? These monsters. All right, Let's just start something new. We could do. We already have this goat. Don't know if we need a ram yet. We could do Sonic. Cease and desist. Please end your progress. A zoo race, like a like a racing game. That's cool. Very interesting conclusion. Poo race? What is poo race? Like poop? Poop racing? <laughs> the zoo race. Wow, wait, so it was like Super 3D Noah's Ark stuff? <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I have to look this up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this looks this looks really cool. Let me guess, they're all like trying to race to get to Noah's Ark. <laughs> Proper zoo race. No, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> I'll tell you that we're not doing that. No, we're not trying to race to get to Noah's Ark. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? They're having bombs and bad things trying to kill them, all in Bible time. <laughs> See, Apothic, you say Bible times as if it's the past tense, with World War II bombers, where someone may argue that today we are indeed in Bible times, but, but I understand your logic. <laughs> Historic. Once upon a time in history, in the time of the Bible. <laughs> Sounds like that sounds comforting. What are, we, what are we doing with these guys? This guy's face. Hmm. Uh, let's do this fun thing or this thing. Let's do the gug. I want to have fun. I want to have fun. Just like a girl. Auntie Cindy taught me. All right. Okay, 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 all right. This guy. Should we start with this guy's feet? He's got good feet. Um. This isn't Spore Muffin, this is. Rhino Dino. That's a good idea. Zoo race, that's cool. Zoo race. <laughs> oh, I feel so sleepy. Okay. Everything from here on up, just be gone. Zoom. See you later, arms.
delete them vertices. Oh, my eyes. All right, great. You resell the moon. Just like Leviticus. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Proper sewer <suit> rays. <laughs> As opposed to the improper version. <laughs> I love it. I love these logics. We got it too. Tell me more. Tell me more. Impropriety of two race. <laughs> Alright, look at this. Look at this big boy. Oh. Pretty boy. <laughs> the head turn. So let's turn off clipping. These two sides. Yep. We're not making Sonic. We're gonna make um, make our little Gug friend, little top top mouth top mouth loader. Helium. Sonic? We're not doing Sonic after our big fan art throwdown conversation. Haven't we learned anything? Was our takeaway? Uh, this isn't Dragon Quest. This is uh, Legend of Zelda Two. Two. Famicom Disk System. Man, I love the Dragon Quest games, but the music gets so stale. It really, it really bugs me. I think that's my one big complaint with Dragon Quest games. I don't mind that they take forever to play in our super insane grinds or anything but they just like even across multiple games i think they just have the same music the same instrumentation ah oh, just I, I want fresh tunes is that so is that so much to ask for it's like the same kind of especially now they don't have to do you know tracker stuff or or MIDI or anything, it's, it sounds so very samey. And I wish it wasn't, I wish it wasn't that, because, you know, music adds a lot to JRPG or any kind of, any kind of game that has, like, really repetitive gameplay. Um, even I found the, the music in Nino Kuni when I was trying to play that, the, the battle theme started off with too much of a da 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 at the beginning, and it just made me not want to play the game or grind or anything, because you'd just be going into fight after fight and always be like da 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 and it's really hard to kind of, um, you know, just stay in it. Lot that kind of lost me. Yeah, Dragon Quest is still one of my most look forward to games, but I feel like they could do a lot more the tunes. Just more variety in music and that kind of thing. Sweet. There 
we go, that's the number. That's the magic number. Oh, really? Pokemon trading card game, interesting. Let's check it out. Let's try it out. What's it gonna be? A limited edition Pokemon card inside. Rips open monitor. It's different enough than standard Pokemon stuff so far. That's cool. Got an itchy shoulder today. Ugh. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> Rips through time and reality. Rips through space and time. Give me a Pokemon card. Give me the card! It is demanded by the King of Bread. Ah, yes, the mighty Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to go there. No, sir. Too bad too, because I do like Wakaliwood stuff. But too much out of context. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's very specific. Very specific. This guy knows his tunes. This is making me want to play Pokemon more, though. I've still never gotten rid into the, the trading card game at all. Oh, actually, I don't want to listen to that. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? Drafts going? Yeah, I would I would jump in. I'd be like a babe in the woods. A B A to B. I wouldn't know what I'm doing. But that's okay. Cause I like getting wrecked like a noob. I like getting stomped. Trying to do. It's very easy. So she says. <laughs> I want to draft more magic too. Probably, I should probably, I could probably vote my buddy Matt to that too. My friend Matt moved back to town, and uh, it's nice to have. It's nice to have one of your best friends back in town. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? I know I can play Pokemon. Yeah, we'll do it. Isn't that nice, Juhachi? To have one of your best friends back in town. Nice. 
It's nice. <laughs> oh, that, made me, that reminded me. There's this uh, Ethiopian restaurant in town, and um, they serve they serve these uh, sp like spice nuts. It's sort of like an appetizer. <laughs> Spice nuts, and uh, it's always like a lady that works there. And whenever she brings them around to your table, <laughs> she just has she brings a little bowl to your table and says, "Snuts." <laughs> Snuts. I get I get so happy. <laughs> oh yes, please, I'll take some. <laughs> Give me that snuts. Give me some. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> snuts. <laughs> it sounds so dirty. I don't want it. Yeah, I'll take I'll take two. Oh, how many you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snuts. <laughs> Dirty little snuts. Oh, yeah. Take some. Thanks. Is that cardamom? Oh, it's so good. So tasty though. It, it wouldn't it wouldn't be as funny if they weren't delicious. But they freaking rule. I haven't had them in a long time either. Judge Dread Mega City? Wait, they're no. Are they actually are they actually doing a Judge Dread Netflix series? Cause that was like an April Fool's thing a while ago. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, Apothic. This is serious. Don't play around. Are they actually making Judge Dread? I don't believe you. I don't. I want to believe you. This is. This is my wanting to believe face. Um, that's that's awesome though. It's really fucking cool. Judge Dredd is freaking cool. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I want to watch the movie again. Oh, that's so good. Seven days ago. That sucks. It was such a good movie. Ah, that's too bad. Hmm. Nice. That's cool. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. But love me some dread. I should really just read some more uh, 2000 AD comics. That's what I should do. Should really should. Hell, I've had I've had copies of like ABC Warriors sitting in my my bookshelf for years. I've just never read them. Oh, because I'm a horrible person. But I'm trying to be less horrible. Okay, how do we turn clipping back on? <laughs> These guys are so weird looking. That triangle is so too pointy, though. Can we do something about that? Interesting. This is really mellow for a trading card game soundtrack. Kind of sweet. Nice. 
Juhachi, this is a good pick. I gotta say. Man, I, I believe there's gotta be like some heavy narrative here, because I'm getting like weepy just thinking about sort of the I don't know, what's whatever's going on. It's heavy. It's heavy. Heavy duty. Um this guy would look nice if he had a little bit of hang on. Maybe some lip. Lippin. Lip. Some lips. We've only got a couple minutes left before we have to go. And we're gonna have to do a little host. Let's queue up a host. Who are we gonna host? Somebody nice. Who's it gonna be? Man, there's nobody on this time of day. Deadpool animated series, that's bonkers. Um... <laughs> R-Raid and Hellboy too. wow, that's crazy. Um, do you guys have any ideas? Do you want to, anybody that you want to suggest for a host? Because... We could host somebody, but it'd be nice to sort of... Maybe say hi to some new people. Catch my drift. That's okay. So okay, Apothic. Did he? Are we not following him on this account? So weird. We can host Quasi in a minute. Do 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 do. Just gonna take a peek real quick. Weird. Yeah, we're not following him. That's bonkers. Crazy. Nice. Well, this account wasn't following him yet, so that's that's the problem. Uh, cool. So H O S T. Copy that. So, um, what is it? Uh, P L. I'm gonna be around on Imaginary Monsters tomorrow in the morning and the evening. Stop on by if you want. Uh. We'll be doing some game dev stuff there on Friday. Brandon's gonna be around doing some games or variety stuff. That would be pretty cool. Mr. BH. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give Quasi a host. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Always a pleasure. Nice people. And yeah, here comes a Quasi host. Oh my goodness, so maybe on Thursday or Friday we'll see you around. I'll be lurking. I'll be lurking come, uh, come Friday. So thank you again. Give us a follow and we'll be super happy. We will be, because every little bit helps and it's nice. And you can turn on notifications to find out when we do our stuff. And that's nice too. And we appreciate it and you're all cool. You're a subscriber to my channel, which makes me happy, and, uh, you know, it's great. It's cool. Anyway, <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>